Martin, you must be absolutely delighted with that result today on our return to the Premiership. Yeah, it was fantastic. You know, um, it was good to get off to a good start. Um, you know, we've had a good pre-season under our belts. Um, sometimes that doesn't go go your way, but you know, um, the gaffer's got us uh, firing, and you know, he's brought in some exceptional players, and um, the, the squad's really busted, and we're looking to kick off now. We had Darren McGregor join us in commentary today, and uh, Darren had pointed out that throughout the pre-season in the Betfred Cup games, we'd gone ahead in those games. So, having gone behind today, it would be interesting to see how we reacted. The reaction was unbelievable. Yeah, I mean, um, the first ten minutes, I think we wasn't we wasn't getting um, close enough, and um, we weren't pressing enough, you know. And you know, we we switched off and we conceded a goal, and that was an eye opener. Um, but yeah, it was it was good to get a, a quicker um, a quicker response and. Apart from that, we were just in their faces. We never really gave them a sniff after that, and you know, um, the, the defence was gave us a platform to play on. And then you've got the midfield, who are exceptional talents. And then, you know, it just gives us, me, Swanee, Dylan, and inside this freedom to play. Really, and um, we're getting a counter, and we've got a serious pace. So, um, when you've got players like that behind you, it makes life a bit easier. You got us back on level terms. Simon Murray got a wee break of the ball, didn't quite get under control, broke off the thistle man's shin, but you're in the right place to put us back on level terms. Yeah, I don't I don't actually know why I was at that side, but you know, I'm I was lucky I was there to tap it in and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm good to get off the mark and uh, you know, um I'm sure I'm sure Sai and uh, Swanee will be getting off the mark soon. Also Stokes eh? when we get him up to speed and um, the squad's looking really strong. I just said Dad and and Dave were up in the stands so you know, the, the gaffers built a really good squad. One thing that was noticeable, Martin, was the level of fitness out there today. From the first minute to the 90th, I don't think anybody in a green and white shirt stopped running and working their socks off. It's because we're not allowed. <laughs> <laughs> you look over the gaffer and he's he's giving you a bit, but you know, he's that was from day one, you know, the fitness. We want to be the fittest in the, the league, the gaffer said, and, you know, we want to build ourselves up stronger. And uh, you know, develop even even more. You know, we've done that in the pre-season games, and as you say, taking it into the day, um, I thought we really showed what we're, we're capable of. And as you say, it builds up. Um, it'd be good to get a good Tuesday as well. You know, the cup. We want to progress in that. The manager says he wants another cup and a cup run, and then that'll that'll lead us up to next business next week. The second goal put us ahead was a good example of patience between Dylan McGeoch and Danny Swanson at the edge of the Thistle area just waiting for the gap, holding possession until the gap appeared. Danny threads the ball across and Stephen Whitaker just guides it into the far corner with the outside of his boot. I mean, that's... I mean, they're very patient on the ball, they're very technical. I mean, that's what they bring to the squad, you know, there's no rush and panic. Um, so, yeah, the, the, their movement and their passing, um, it's quality at times, and you've seen that and that, that just opened it up. I'm pretty sure I've seen Sai get a touch, though. Mm -hmm. um, but he's trying to claim it. Um, a bit spectacle, but you know, um, it's good for Wits to get off the mark as well, even because Sai got off the mark as well. Um, but yeah, as you say, you, you've got uh, quality players like that, and they, as I said, they're just playing with freedom. Mm -hmm. well, that's what the gaffer wants, just a free throwing attack in football, and um, you know, it's, it's work to do. Certainly got that early in the second half. You're flying down that right hand side, you get into the penalty area, and as Darren says, when a player of your pace is in the penalty area, it's a nightmare for a defender to, to, to try and defend against. If he gets it wrong, he catches you. Dan Callum Booth caught you, no question about it, down you went, penalty. Simon Murray and Danny Swanson had a bit of an argument over who was going to take it. Simon won it, put it away nicely. Absolutely, you know, I played a good one too with Danny and, you know, sometimes he's on a different wavelength and, you know, he's the back heels exceptional and it's just right in front of my path and, as you say, you run at that speed, you you can't come, like, flying in and stuff like that. So it's, it's um, as I say, it was a bonus for us. Um, penalties have been a bit of a curse lately, but... Um, we're glad we've got that one sorted. So, you know, size confident lad. He's been flying pre-season, so there you go. He's confident enough to step up and, and put it away. I thought he was exceptional today. You know, he, he never gives defenders a, a minute's peace and his hold-up was, was brilliant. So, yeah, good for them and, and it's good for us as well. We said that in commentary. You know, when defenders are playing against guys like yourself with the pace you've got and Simon Murray there, as I say, he's like a fly around a, a jam pot, you know. <laughs> it must be horrible to defend against. You're just not getting a minute's peace. Thomas Cerny, very early in the game, took an extra touch on the ball and Simon was right on, touch of him, not on top of him before he knew what was happening. Absolutely, you know, that's what the gaffer was... I think that's what he was wanting in the first ten minutes, obviously, we never brought it to the game and after that we were just, we were just in their faces, never give them... Uh, a chance to breathe in the game, and you know we we dominated it. And as you say, the the, the pace, um, Daz and Dave and all that sitting training every day. You know they they hate people running at them, and you know it frightens them. And they start stepping off, and that means you can get turned and, and get on the ball. So yeah, and, um, 
it's really good and hopefully we can kick on. Three one up after an hour, pressure's really off us. We can control the game from there, as you'd expect in the Premiership. Thistle saw a little bit more of the ball after that, but we defended solidly from the sort of midfield area and at the back. We didn't really give them any chances. Absolutely, the defence was, was magnificent, I say. Uh, switched off first ten minutes, but after that they were just compact. Nothing was getting past us, you know, we were all working as a team and um, it's good to have Paul back, but like you say, you've got Daz, Dave sitting out, so it's defence is uh, it's sorted. Um, you know, you've got Fontaine on the bench as well and Mr. Reliable at left back, so it's every, everything's um, they're all they're all important to the team and as you say out there today, um, they really they strolled it really. Um, as you say, we went up defensively solid and nothing complicated than what they do, they get they give the ball to the more technical players and we get them up the pitch and um, you know, if you lose the ball, you, you know you can uh, depend on them to win it back. I think Darren was a wee bit worried about how he's going to get back in the side there. That again is evident at the fitness levels that Paul Hanlon hasn't had very many minutes under his, his belt, but he strolled through that game today. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Paul's a good, great professional. Ever since he's came back, he's been he's been choking at play and um, to be thrown straight back in is. It's been brilliant for us, you know. He's, he's came through it unscathed, so it's absolutely brilliant. Um, as for Daz, you know, he's the only manager can know what to do next. Um, I'm sure he'll knock it down the train and batter, batter a few people this week. But as you say, the, the, the strength and depth of the squad is it's fantastic, and boys like that missing today, they'll, they'll be even better when they come back. And the games come thick and fast this early in the season. Here, United on Tuesday night in the Betfred Cup. We know a bit about them from last season, but their squad's probably changed a little bit. They finished top of their group, including Kilmarnock, scored a lot of goals. It'll be an interesting game. Yeah, it should be a good one. Um, it's good that the games are coming thick and fast, that's what we want. Um, it'll be another another tough test. Um, as you say, the Gaffer wants a good cup run, and we certainly want another cup run. You know, We've been quite successful in that through the years. Um, so, yeah... Um, we need to earn the right to play against them, obviously. Obviously, they're um, two divisions below, so um, I'm sure whatever team comes out to play will be, be in a good manner, 